Hi everybody, my name is Priscilla Hall and this is the uh, Osho Tarot reading for the full moon in Gemini on the 17th of December and the sun is currently in Sagittarius and as we all know we're sort of heading into the Christmas season. Um, so what um, has come through so far um, for me at the moment is um, that with the full moon in Gemini, it's, um, it's very much about uh, communication. Gemini is ruled by Mercury and that's the planet of communication, transport, uh, business, commerce, electronics, um, and you know, particular phones, etc., and uh, with the Gemini as well, it's also about uh, the twins, about duality, and from my perspective, um, recognising that there's two sides or two perspectives um, on a story. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I think uh, it's a fairly intense time uh, right before Christmas. There's a lot of energy flying around. People are getting uh, caught up in the anticipation of what to expect around Christmas and uh, it's uh, it's pushing a lot of people to the limits so to speak. So without further ado I shall turn the card around and uh, I'll have a look at what we have. Okay now um, this card is called Turning In and it's very much about being aware of what's going on around you. Um, as you can see in the picture, there's lots of faces sort of floating around behind the figure. And she's sitting in a, a state of meditation. And it's really about recognizing that we're coming into an incredibly busy time. Um, and there's going to be an awful lot going on around us. And it's going to be very easy to be caught up in um, what's going on and all the people talking to us and everybody wanting probably a little piece of us during this busy, busy time. And where you can, please try and find um, that moment um, of personal space um, where you find that little bit of peacefulness by tuning in and turning into yourself and uh, quietly shutting out the rest of the world so that you can find a sense of inner peace in this uh, crazy intense energy that's flying around at the moment. And you can also see on the card that she's sitting on, on water um, and it's almost like she's allowing the water to be the soothing waves as they come in from the shore. Um, you can see how peaceful she is and she actually has a smile on her face as well. You can really see her calmness regardless of what's going on around her. Um, it's quite a lovely card and very much about um, yeah, slowing down, taking the time to come into yourself, taking the time to find personal space in the midst of the craziness that's going to go on around us um, for the next couple of weeks. Um, Christmas Day is quite literally a week from the Wednesday tomorrow and so we're all starting to feel the pressure building and um, the more you can find a chance to create personal space and turn in and drop into your own centre, the more you'll be able to um, deal with what's going on around you. Christmas, as we know, is an incredibly intense time. Uh, a lot of people anticipate family anxiety when they meet with family and they also anticipate um, just incredible stress around us. There's Yes, there's the party atmosphere, but in the same breath, it's about family and times of getting together, but it also brings everyone's stuff up. Um, you know, family has a way of doing that to each other. And, um, you know, the skeletons start to sort of fall out of the closets occasionally. You find, you know, certain members of the family probably drink too much and then go and say something in a completely insensitive manner. And there's always something going on. Um, and uh, so it's really, really important for you to find the space to allow yourself to just drop in and turn off the outside world and turn into your own world and just create that center of peacefulness. Um, uh, what else is in here? Yeah, there's, um, I, I can see um, 
in the calm expression on her face, the peacefulness that she has. There's actually an aura of um, of groundedness there as well. And uh, that's really key coming into Christmas, you know, not getting too carried away, finding your own time, finding your own space. If people become too intense and too full on, time to walk away. Give yourself that time and go, you know what, this is not necessarily what I have to deal with today. And at the moment, I do need to find my own space and go and do it. It's really, really key. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody. I hope that this has given you some insights potentially on on how to handle what's going on at this point in time. And the next reading will be for the new moon in Capricorn, which is going to be on New Year's Day. Lucky us. Wow, that's fairly full on. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope that this has been of use for you and that you uh, you get something special from it and some sense of peace and groundedness. Thank you.